Wag up. In this video, I want to share with you guys a cool little gadget that I bought for my PC case in order to help match the theme that I had going on but also to serve a purpose as well and that is a GPU holder. A GPU holder is a graphics card holder and it basically is self-explanatory. It helps to hold your graphics card up in place if you happen to have a graphics card that is larger than 280 millimeters to about 310 millimeters. If you have a graphics card of this size, then you will tend to notice that in the corner opposite to where you mount it with the three screws or two screws, it tends to droop a little bit. And this happens due to the sheer weight of the graphics card. A GPU holder like this is designed in order to help brace the GPU and help hold it up at the same time. Now, there are a lot of different types of GPU holders out there and there are even ones that are designed a little bit differently but I want to share with you guys the one that I have gotten this is it right here so as you can see the design that I chose was Aorus Gigabyte and that's simply because the motherboard that I'm using is a Aorus Gigabyte motherboard just to give you a brief description of what it is how it's mounted and what it does basically it has a bracket right above the word gigabyte here an upside down l-shaped bracket which then you screw in and then it basically holds up your graphics card and gives it support you can buy them with rgb colors and you can even buy them with either the, the 12 volt 4 pin or the 5 volt 3 pin the good thing about buying them with either the 5 volt or the 12 volt 4 pin or 3 pin is that you can then plug it into your motherboard that has either a 4 pin or 3 pin um, RGB header and it will sync with your motherboard so that whatever color your motherboard is displaying it can sync with your motherboard so that the colors run in sync just like it is doing right now with my uh, PC case as you can see all my colors are syncing at the moment because I'm running them all off the RGB software for the motherboard which is the RGB Fusion 2.0 for the Gigabyte motherboard. Now there are also um, simpler designs out there that simply run off like a Molex cable and it simply has one solid color or you can buy ones that run off a remote. It either have an inline remote so you can change it inside the PC case or you can have a wireless remote and you can simply uh, change the colors uh, via the remote control. I honestly believe that the best way to do it would be to either have a remote or just to have it sync with your motherboard. That way, whatever color you choose for your motherboard to run, it will run in sync with it and the colors will synchronize and look exactly the same, just like mine is doing at the moment. Just to give you guys a closer look, let's get a bit closer and let's have a look at exactly what this looks like and how you mount it. Okay, so as you can see, there are many different types of modifications you can buy for a PC case or for your PC in general. For instance, there is different types of fans, RGB fans, there's cable sleeves, there's ATX RGB cables, RGB graphics card cables, there's even CPU fan coolers, RGB RAM covers, and even different types of fan hubs and 5 volt 3 pin hubs as well as 12 volt 4 pin hubs as well. But what I really wanted to show you guys today is this GPU holder right here. Now, if you're interested in getting something like this, I'm going to leave links in the description below of all different types of GPU holders that you can buy. If you wanna get something like this, then be sure to click on the links and it will take you to different types of designs for the GPU holders. As you can see, the design that I went for was the Aorus Gigabyte. Now, that's simply because I'm using an Aorus Gigabyte motherboard but there are also different types of designs out there. So no matter the theme that you have or the type of style PC case you're trying to build, I'm sure that there is going to be a GPU holder with the type of design that you're looking for. The GPU holder is pretty self-explanatory. It helps to hold up your graphics card. So as you can see here, when I raise it, it drops down. The purpose of the GPU holder is to help hold it up. It does it by simply having two screws that screw into here and it's just a, a bolt and a nut on the other side here and 
this L-shaped bracket is fixed upside down so that this part here will help hold up your graphics card and it is simply secured via the three bolts that screw into where your rear PC slots are located. It goes over your rear PC slots and it takes up three spots. You install the PC slots first and then this simply sits over it and then you screw it in. Like I said, you, there are so many different types of designs out there. I'm also gonna show you these two other GPU holders that I bought. Okay, so here are some other basic ones that I also have. They simply just run off a Molex cable as you can see. But I want to show you guys that you can buy ones with specific colors or you can buy ones with a full RGB lighting where, and it has a controller so you can pretty much control which color you want to come out. But if it also has a 5 volt 3 pin plug, you can pretty much plug that into your motherboard. If your motherboard has a 5 volt 3 pin plug a header, then you're able to plug it into your motherboard and you can control what light you want to come out of it via the motherboard so just to show you guys pretty much uh, what it looks like here i have a power source uh, i want to show you guys that another cool thing you can also buy is this power supply tester you're able to plug this into this power supply tester and test your cables as soon as i plug it in it turns on the power supply because it jumps it now that I have it running, I'm able to test any of these cables without having to plug it all into the PC. I'm gonna plug in one of these Molexes and it runs the power. And I'll plug this in as well. As you can see, it gives power to the Molex as well. It also has um, a Molex plug here. It's got your uh, eight pin, four pin, and six pin connector here, and also your four pin for any type of four pin connection, which is basically the uh, DVD ROM drive. It's a very simple design. You have your mounting bracket here and you have two bolts which you can mount and then that simply goes underneath your graphics card to give it support and then you have the three bolts here that will screw into where your rear slots go in you can buy different types of designs which can represent what is in your pc case so for instance i bought the nvidia G geforce gtx one because i have a nvidia geforce gtx 1080 pi and i bought the msi gaming one because i used to have an msi board and that's basically it. That's what I wanted to show you today, guys. And as you can see, it is a very simple uh, modification. It simply runs off a Molex plug, and that's it. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Ring that notification bell in order to keep up with the uploads. Until next time, guys, this is Mike with Mikey's Vlogs. Signing off. See you in the next mod.